Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're playing Chronicles of the Second War, continuing the fall of Lordaeron. I think this is the last mission. We destroyed Dalaran, or at least part of Dalaran, at the start of this mission, and then flipped us back to our little stronghold on Fenris Island to attack Lordaeron City proper. So this seems to me like it would be the last mission of the Orc campaign. We will see. Okay. Seems like one that maybe should have been split we into two. We the remnants of Lordra's pathetic fleet. Destroy the harbor and use it as a location for our siege weapons and ground troops to attack the city. There should be several ways to launch assaults against the city. Let's use Zeppelins to scout the shoreline. Sure, sure. Start with four catapults. That's solid. Um, do we want to just be making... Ready to work. Oh, hello. Grunts and battleships have returned from the Lost Island under your command. Okay, you'll love to see it. I will finally prove to the war chief who's the better orc scratcher. Don't push it, Captain Tarbeck. The war chief does not tolerate soldiers who disobey their superiors. Now fall to command. Soon, Commander Scratcher. Soon. Tankers ready. Okay, you dive. Uh oh. Uh, hang on. Die. We got these guys. Die! Die! Uh oh. I I guess destroyers can be good against these things. Let's come on. Let's bring this fleet over here. Can either of my heroes attack air? Hit him with the spear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Doomhammer can attack air. And then hit him with the spear again? Okay, this is scary. Maybe we just want to rush dragons? So let's definitely get some oil going. Zoom in a little bit. And then what's going on down here? Let's let's get our navy kind of up in this direction. We have a lot of transport ships. Okay, well this is why we made guard towers. We want another one over there to deal with the, I guess the zeppelins. Let's come look over here. This is where we started, right? So we want to do kind of a circle around here. It's a solid, solid search. Okay, so we do have some anti-air. These can be okay against dragons. Again, no music again scares me. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. These are all melee. It's like the sooner we can load them up to do anything, the better. Stronghold is on the way. That's done. Okay, so we have some oil income. It's not huge, but it's it's something. You have my attention. And then as soon as this is done, we can start some tech, some extra tech. We'll get some additional workers on gold. Again, it seems like we only have one gold mine available to us. Come on. Come on. Okay, cool. More of these. And then let's go... Ogre Mound. And I would like a foundry, please. Ready to work. Big build there. Can't build there. Where can I make foundries? Down there is fine. It, it's honestly that's fine. That. Okay, and then we need pig farms. Something doing. Okey That'll take some time, but he'll do it. I'm gonna grab another one doing the same thing. Work, work. I'm gonna keep upgrading my anti-air, and we're gonna. I would like some more. Um, you want axe? towers along the edges. So this is why we're making extra workers as well. Which I cannot follow through with because we need more pig farms. Okay, like that. And did I not start the the ogre mount? Am I crazy? I'm like 90% sure I started that. Okay, you guys back up. 
We'll repair this whole fleet here momentarily. Okay, these are all transports. We'll use you later. We found some more oil. So that's going to be... The oil patch is going to be difficult to secure at this rate. Okay, you come on up here and just repair all this stuff. Foundry is done, so let's go ahead and upgrade so that we can do better against those uh, those flyers. You be a watchtower, you build an oil refinery. Please. Can't build there. I can do that. We're gonna need to defend that from the the flyers as well. Boats come on over here. Repair, and then now what? We have oil coming in. Did my Zeppelin No, he did not die. Let's just uncover these small areas that we did not quite see. Then you come back over here. Okay, now what? What do I need? Barracks, blacksmith. I have a lumber mill. Oh, I never made the... Uh, I thought I made the ogre mill. Ogre ogre mound, excuse me. Um, that was one that I had queued up, and then it was just like, ah, nah. <laughs> so that's fun. Okay, I think it's because he's... Something, he goes to do it, and then it says can't build there after I... And then I queue him up to get back to work. So let's... Do it here, I guess. Wherever I gotta do it, man. Research complete. Okie dokie. Okay, great. How's the repair? How are the repairs going? They're fine. You're addressing the war chief. Just want to make sure that we're secure against those flyers. Okay, what else? Yeah, sure. We got the we got the oil for it. How much is on here? Enough. We don't need more tankers. I don't think at this rate. And now this is done. We increased our return rate. I think we have enough guys on gold. Maybe even one extra. Yes. So maybe we grab even another lumber. I mean that lumber mill there is fine. Maybe we want to get another one over here. We're completely true. These, these things, man. <laughs> so it seems like this is going to be the consistent attack. Tarbeck just hit him with the... Oh, now it's two. This is why we're just going to let... We're leveling up our... Uh, our destroyers. Perfect. Transport ship, come on down here. Perfect. We keep you all near the edge. Yes, keep repairing me, please. You come on over here. Now we can get tier three. That's expensive, but we got to do what we got to do. And then keep leveling up our boats. Nothing is nothing is dropped yet to require me to... Let's go. Now, uh, enemy drops from drop ships is what I mean, like transport boats. I mean, I guess that's fine. Yes. I, mean, I have so many grunts. We should just load Work these up complete. and go somewhere with Research them. Complete. Okay, what I'm going to do is send you along. They said scout along the coastline, so that's what I'm going to do. But that guy, he's almost definitely going to die. Um, we need the fortress there. That's... Berserker training is quite expensive. I don't know what that actually gets you. Maybe it's extra um, health? And then having these things is really handy, too. Doesn't look like there's any way to... Well, there is a place to drop here. But it's very highly defended. I mean, we can build a fleet of destroyers to take... Not destroyers, juggernauts to take care of this stuff. He said scout the coast to see where to... I mean, this is one area. Maybe we can destroy that wall with uh, sappers? Yes. Speaking of which, we need... Something you're doing? 
An alchemist. We might even want to build two of those. And then dragon roost. Yeah, maybe we just go mass dragons at this rate. Be happy to. Okay, yeah. Doomhammer, stay near the edge. And then when you're done, come on up here and repair and repair. Oh, I was really hoping he could he could keep keep he could stay alive for just a little bit. All right, pickaxes. The ultimate weapon provided by the Dragon Maw Clan. In Dragon Roost, you can train red dragons and research upgrades for them. I would love to. We're going to upgrade our spear throwers as well. What I would give to be able to repair, or not repair, but upgrade my uh, my towers here. Okay, no problem. You're the captain. What you want okay, complete. repair here. Repair, repair. And I'm going to build one more tower here just because... Oh, I think he's stuck. Hang on. Where we have a billion you? transport boats. So come on up here. We're going to pick them up. You're repairing, you're repairing. What did I want to do? Oh, I guess let's build that dragon roost. Okay, I'm just going to okay. build two dragon roosts. Research complete. Arc. Okay, get in the boat. And then exit the boat. I feel like every time yes. I build an oil refinery, my my peon gets Be stuck. It's a very common thing here. Hmm? Build one more. Research complete. I can do that. Work, work. Okay, it really okay. seems to me like this is just... Get crazy with dragons. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's all done. Eventually, we'll be able to load up all this stuff and drop. Not quite there yet. This is very expensive. I have enough oil, so let's do it. Just get our boats fully upgraded so that they can survive against the dragon attacks, or griffin attacks, rather. 2,000. And improves it to large, making it more resistant against piercing damage. Sure. I mean, I guess. That, I mean, that's good because you know that this wall is just full of archers. Still plenty of gold on this. Let's get one more on there. And what was it? 2,000? Yep. And how much do they cost? 2,500. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're just saving up. I don't think the Berserker upgrades are going to be necessary right now. It, like, it doesn't hurt to have them. I will get this guard tower. You got me. Captain and then Tarbek, hang out over so here with the war chief, what are your orders, chief. So that you can spear the enemy. It's still an undiscovered side quest, actually. So we need to destroy all of this, which is why I've been focused on boats. Um, that being said, dragons, probably the better option. Captain. I can't actually be sure about that. I feel like... I feel like our boat options are pretty good. Yeah, repair this, and then come and repair this. We need to have enough destroyers that we can focus down... So that we can focus down the griffins. Yeah, see how fast these go down? Yes, perfect. And I do have a war turtle. Let's kind of move it up in this general direction. It said the oil patch is running low, but I've got plenty of oil. I think we need just a few more juggernauts. Let's get two more juggernauts at 3-3. Three, three. It should be solid. And then we can get a couple more destroyers so that we can focus down any flyers. That And that fleet should be good enough to clear the harbor out. To be fair, I can't see what's in the harbor, so maybe it's not enough. But hopefully it is. Then we load everyone up in transport boats and we get crazy. Uh, I'm going to build another Zeppelin. The fact that they're not dropping on me is... I mean, straight up, it's a blessing. That's fine. We got another one up here. Though it's probably going to be very exposed to dragon attacks. But, like, I got nothing to lose. Maybe they'll ignore it. I don't know. 
Ah, okay. I feel like it was only a matter of time. That's quite the large fleet. They are also 3-3. Get my heroes up to the front here. I was going to say, can I hit him with an axe? I just need my heroes to absorb the shots from the battleships. Ooh, this is perfect, actually. This is exactly what I needed. <laughs> okay, then we'll repair this. We'll repair these boats, and then we'll go from there. Okay, perfect. So come along the edge. Captain. And once again, get repaired. Okay, that should do it. Mr. Warchief, you did great. You know what? Just do this. Oh, I thought that would heal him. Did it heal him? If it did, I didn't really notice. Over here. So the real question is, is this fleet going to be large enough for what we need? The crew awaits your order. Rowing and well, that Navy attack pretty much ignored me, so... Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. We're... That's fine. Okay, one more Juggernaut. Maybe two more Juggernauts. I, again, you gotta be careful. It's... Wasteful to overbuild ships. You need naval supremacy, but once you destroy their ability to make stuff, then it's fine, you know? Yes. I can do that. Forward we go. Okay, when that's done, we'll get going. Something you doing? I meeting. I would love to. Alright, so we're moving along. Direct us to an oil patch. I will soon. Work complete. Forward we go. Okay, good amount of oil there. I don't want to. Again, I don't want to overbuild. On um, navy and stuff like that. What's going on here? Just like a whole flipping. Awaiting your orders. Whole flipping thing. Okay, they do rebuild these ships, so let's pick a direction and just commit to it. Let's make sure we keep this close in case there are subs. Of which there surely will be. I think you need to be, like, right on top of them for these broadside shots to work. I feel like I've used it before and I've struggled to see a visual indicator. Unleash those cannons! Okay, that's one thing. Move on up. Move on up. Perfect. This looks like the sheep yards. Don't get too close to that edge. Okay, I'm just destroying these cannon towers. Give me a break. You guys can stay here and attack this. No, 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 shipyard. There we go. Okay, back away from the edge. Okay, major section complete, it would seem. Oh, they did it for me. That's nice. Okay. The wind's on our side. Okay, so now we have a way in. Captain. I am half tempted to just... The they have no navy anymore, so I'm half tempted the to just kind of float up here and see if I can hit the stuff on the edge. Well, the answer is yes. Well. Okay, and then they're, they're like... 
flooding out to us, which is perfect. We just attack them from the, the coast. Perfect. Okay, now, all of you guys... Yes. I should have repaired you. Yes. Yes. Okay, again, Griffins continue to be a problem. Orgrim is only level 7, my goodness. Lil Bro's gotta get some levels, man. Okay, can you get close and maybe... Perfect. The answer is yes. Look, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Boom, boom, boom. I say, please tell me that I can hit. Oh, and it changed targets at the last second. That's handy. Okay, transports. Make your way up here. These are getting repaired. Time to make dragons. It's a lot of them, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, now, destroying the city itself seems like it's going to be a whole to-do. I think maybe we bring just a worker. Something you're doing? I'll bring both of these workers so that want? we can Where to? try to set up forward production across the sea. I, I hope we don't have to transport Where things back to? and forth constantly. That would be, that would be a challenge what for me. <laughs> now, what I don't really have defense against... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send these destroyers... I'm going to leave three here and send three home for dragons. Griffins, excuse me. You want axe? Zod, Zog, Zog. Something you're doing? Now, I haven't built up half of my... Tech tree, either. So, to. we need... Altar of Storms... Work. And Temple of the Damned. Work, work. Be happy to... The fact that it started me with all of these grunts is handy. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Okay, we are still getting oil production, but it's not something that is particularly important to me. Yep, and this is why I have these things here. Yes. You worker, you're my new boat repairer. Just keep these destroyers up and up. And then you all float across here and land. We want to make sure that our workers stay alive. I mean, if I have to, I'll just take another... We'll, we'll be careful. We'll be careful. That's all I'll say about that. Yeah, destroy this. I don't like it. It looks like there's going to be places we can build structures. And we can repair these boats, I guess. It's not super necessary. We've cleared out all of this. Can't get these things out of here. Unload. Workers, please be so careful. Just... I just want I just want them to be safe because we need them for later. If I can just build a town hall on this side, then we're cooking with gas. Okay, let's go. Okay, give me a for the horde buff. Okay, we have a foothold. Why they didn't um Reinforce this area is, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Fortress. The walls are heavily fortified, and we are losing many warriors to elven archers and ballistas. Yep. Uh, we've come too far to be denied by arrows and wall defenses. Rise up, my mighty horde. Glory and riches await you beyond these walls. Tread them to pieces, my warriors, and take what is rightfully yours. Yep. <laughs> okay, plunder gold. I mean, I I guess. That's certainly something I can do. 
kill this. It's like, what? Man, it's like the longest delay in attack that I've ever seen. Okay, projectiles. Yeah, I keep getting these upgrades. Oh my gosh, I have so many more units to, to be able to bring. So, come on over here. We're going to load them up. We're going to make more dragons. Come on over. Come on over, baby. You better not waste mm -hmm. my time. What do you want? Okay. Great hall. Of course it won't fit. I will make a barracks. Just so that I can build, um... I can do that. You have my attention. For being attacked, my hammer will crush your skull. Just so that I can build more catapults, because catapults, man, that's that's what it all comes down to. You could just just like only make. Wait, <gasps> has he been here the whole time? Ooh, talk, ooh, talk, ooh, talk. Did he lose his inventory because he didn't have the swirly thing around his uh his weapon? That's gonna make me upset. Okay, we use dragons to snipe these things, and they have a piercing resistance. This is what we gotta do. Just let him, just let him go crazy. Ooh, something's got ensnare. Kill this. Thank you. Get out. Okay, the important thing is we got rid of a lot of the, the stuff there. Now, Utak, lost his whole inventory. I don't know why this happens, man, but this is these these kind of things really need to be ironed out for a project like this, in my opinion. That's a big bummer. That's just a big bummer. Um, I did nothing different. Um, to be super clear, I've done nothing special or different here. Um, I just loaded the next map. And just the fact that there's not much buildable terrain is frustrating as well. Okay, let's move in. Destroy, destroy. Yes. Just go ahead and storm up to the left. I feel like getting through this city is going to be quite the challenge, but... We'll make it. What do you want? Okay, get me two more pig farms, please. Be happy to research complete. Gold mine still has a good chunk of, of gold on it. Get more dragons. Yes. Your command. Ah, city buildings need to go down. My, I mean, all I can say is, if this is the last mission, he's still a general at least, but if this is the last mission, then that's, it's fine. Um, just because, you know, losing those items only affects me here, and I don't have to worry about, like, oh, next mission, it's a problem, and the mission after that, it's a problem, you know what I mean? I'm just doing this to open up the way. Yes. I have pillage, right? I did research pillage, okay. I feel like every little bit is needed. Is there a way in from here? Can we use sappers to destroy this stuff? I'm not sure. I guess we don't need a navy anymore. I wish we could retire this and get our money back, but that's fine. Okay, move on in. Utak still has his soup. And frankly, that's all that matters to me. Portcullis there means we need sappers. Actually, no, I don't think we need sappers. I think I can just attack those catapults. Yes. Yeah. Okay, dragons back out. Again, as long as we have some frontliners, then we just, like, pretty much just make catapults. We're going to be fine. 
I'll grab for the horde, I guess. Let's storm in. And we'll get money for sacking the... the city. Okay, with flyers, I think destroying the stuff on the high ground is not as big of a problem. You can net me, but I've got a lot of support. The thing with the dragons, too, is they're really strong if they don't get isolated. So if you're attacking with the whole force here, then they're solid. Go ahead and heal me up. Bird and bronze beard. That just gave me a bunch of money. Um, I guess let's go up here next. I can't. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just make grunts. We should probably get ogres, but like this is fine. Cool. We come down here so that we can loot the rest of the city, I guess, and then. Something you're doing? Workers, I guess. Here, you know what? Fly these dragons up here. Your command, master. And then let's push kind of down in this direction so that we can get to the last oh, big sections fair. of city. Your command. Yes. I have one worker still. Gnomes that are tougher than you. That's not true. I Your really command, would had master. hoped that I'd be able to build... Now, this is fine. I'll build whatever I can wherever I can, okay? So, give me an ogre mound here. What the heck did that dude just say to me? I'm a little unclear. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm a little unclear that th this one up here. What what is this? Why can't why didn't this count as something that I destroyed? Okay, all right. Speaking of this, just in case, send these guys back for the later. Ogre Mound. Over here. Speaking of that, keep getting upgrades and upgrades. I don't have that much money to do this, but... Tarbeck's alive. You know what, buddy? Let's try and keep you... Let's try and keep you here. Okay, we're just we're just looting the crap out of all this. One more pig farm, please. Now, it's possible Utak is dead too. Okay, let's just back up and let the let's just let the catapults deal with this. Cut and then just cover the catapults with the flyers. Tarbeck can pick up the gold. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I think Utak might actually be dead. All that time with Utak, and he's he's gone. Wait, no. He's here. Tarbeck, sit both of these. Chief, if that is my task. Okay. We 
get these things in here to help. Catapults back up. Utak is here? I'm concerned that I'm not going to be able to win because of that. It, mm, maybe, mm, it may be have counted. I, I don't know. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Uh-oh. I don't what think it gave me credit that? for it. No, 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 no. What you looking at? Want me to survey? Okay, Tarbex dead. I observe. If that is my task, Luke Tar. 300 gold. Chief. I I feel like I'm coasting towards an uncomfortable loss condition. I I had a save at the beginning of this section. I could, you know, I could redo all this. I just... I don't want to. I just... I, I'm afraid that this is where I'm at now. And before I go too far, maybe I should just... Yes, I observe. Maybe I should just... fight for Lord Get your sword. Make sure that this isn't going to be a problem. Oh, he lost his telescope. Poor guy. I'm really struggling this with this right now. Should I... It seems like I'm... Oh, no. It's that building. Okay. I thought it was a different building. Get on with it. Uther, huh? Yes. I, I think I think I gotta I gotta make an executive decision and just end load. I, I can't I This makes me really nervous. Be purged by the light. Right, because it was this structure. And there's one, two, three, four on the map, and I still need to destroy one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. All right. Hang on. I I got to do it. I I have to. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to do the whole rest of the the city and then realize that it didn't. It's bugged out. Let me just. I can't be sure that this is an actual bug. Let me be clear. This is not necessarily the fault of the map, but I don't want to risk it. So I'll be back. So I I discovered the problem. When I get here, it's already destroyed. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to roll with this being intentional. Wait, wait, hang on. We're able to, we're able to attack something here. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. I can't really complain. Okay, I guess let me make a I mean this is very slow and I was up here last time we checked in, so I'm going to I'm going to make a cut until I'm a little closer back to where I was. Okay, we're right outside the area again. Um, I think we've got a solid force here. It appears to be that we can get up up to maybe 250 or 300 supply. So that is what I am doing. Um, let's, I guess, get more dragons with that supply and rally them kind of to this general area. And then just keep picking off these units along the walls. Yo, bloodlusted dragons, you love to see it. Especially these things need to go. There's Uther. Um, Tarbeck was killed by Muradin, unfortunately. So that's kind of a, you know, what what can I really do situation. Please don't net me. Just don't attack them and maybe they won't net you in response. I don't know. I think this is absolutely worth picking off. We're complete. Come on. There we go. 
Okay, we'll lose a few. Okay, almost. So, now let's use catapults and we can destroy these structures to collect stuff with... Uh, what's his name? The war chief, that guy. He kind of takes a back seat in this campaign. I, I kind of... I, I wish that we just had the our, our typical heroes for this... Uh, Defend the city at all costs. Oh. Bummer. Okay, give me a give me a flag buff thing. And Utak losing all of his items, man, it hurts. So he's stuck in here, that's fine. Yes. Trying to think what, what else is there to do. I'm just making units as we go. He's still bubbled. I hope I have a silence you available. Shall not take this city. Want me to survey? You He's still no bubbled. You got me. He's I'll still bubbled. This is a fun. This is a fun way to play the game. Okay, nuke him down before he uses that again, please. He teleports away. Who I cares? Okay, move up. The only heal that we have is, um, what's his name? Uh, Doomhammer, so. I don't know what they're trying to get to. Oh, they're trying to get to the tower. Okay, and then you, let's go ahead and pick up the gold. Okay, that certainly doesn't hurt at this point. We can use it. Utok's still alive, did not get focused down by Uther during his unconscionably long bubble. We're just grinding our way through this city, boys. Slowly but surely, we make it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do is break this wall. Who cares about the oil patch? <laughs> yeah, come back for a moment. You just have to be so meticulous as we do this. Yes, yeah, save me, ogre. Okay, dragons. Even with mass dragons, like you just have to be slow and steady with this. It's almost like we can outrange these before they see us. And we destroy these because our units get distracted by them. Pick this off. And then back out. We lose a dragon in the grand scheme that is okay. Then, just keep making Ogre Magi. What is it? Did we open this up? It looks like it. What is it? You have my attention. Okay, lots of catapults, man. I said it before, but it's like just mass catapult sort of wins the day here. What? Just what? auto attack in. Utak and the war chief. We know who's really pulling the strings here, okay? We know that Utak is really... He's laying it down and he's making sure that... Uh, the horde is being run appropriately, okay? Towers, new ta new towers just dropped. Okay, I guess break that. Yes, yes Utah, zap them. My attention. I guess earlier I said I wish that I could just use the same heroes I've been using before. To be fair, we have had access to to Doomhammer for much of the campaign. Get your swords. That is true. Uh, get up here, please. Throw down a thing. 
Throw down a thing. Throw down a thing. Continue making ogres. You guys keep clearing the walls. Get rid of these. It's feeling like we've we've almost made the entire round through the city. Almost. We've destroyed the church. I'm going to quick save. Okay, dragons can surely take care of everything that's up there, even if they get netted. Quite a lot of stuff down here is Utak. Where is Utak? Toss this. And... There's our optional. Then? Um, I guess through this area up here? You have my attention. And then workers? Let's see if maybe we can bring you over here and build over in this area instead. Really just seems like ogre mounds is all we need. It couldn't hurt to get a Temple of the Damned. If we can find a place to, to build it. Okay, destroy this. I'm gonna build more dragons, I guess? We've got money for them. And they're, they're good, it's just they're so expensive and they do... I don't want to say they easily get destroyed, it's just they can be focused down pretty quickly. So you just have to be careful with them. I see a, a Tome of Strength. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care. Watch this. Stay mad. Okay, come on back over here. Back up. Pop the heal. And then this. Rune of Restoration is perfect. That's exactly what we need at this point. Dude, these sound effects are insane. They're hitting the spot. Utak is alive. He's somewhere. Okay, new reinforcements, please. We're killing them before we destroy the gate. This is actually great. There's Utak. He's just watching here. Hit him with this. Use the Scroll of Restoration. Dude, you love this. This is great. Go ahead, use your mana and heal him up. I don't care. Okay, break the gate. We're, we're get we're so close. Keep going. Just keep pushing. I see the mage tower up here. Let's see if maybe we can just slip in here with dragons and kill it. The answer is yes. All of you keep pushing up in this direction. Flying sheep, you love to see it. Okay, we're almost there, man. This is a this is quite the grind, but we're making it through. Even with mass dragons, this is not easy. I guess, do I even need to be killing these magical things here? Catapults, they they can they can kill the archers on the high on the walls. Okay, preferably we don't lose Doomhammer here because having to put him in a boat and bring him back seems quite the challenge. He's, he's okay. Utak? Utak, Utak. Utak's fine. I don't know where he is, but he's... He's okay. Okay, Castle's going down. It's just a steady grind through this whole city. And this is actually, okay, this is actually the end of it. We haven't gotten attacked by griffins for a while, actually. 
It definitely feels like dragons are the intended way. It's just getting netted can... I mean, if you could just make dragons, then that would just be too easy. At the same time, you definitely want to mix them in so you can get rid of the siege weaponry at the, at the top. Okay, we've done it. We're punching uphill. You'd love to see it. the war chief all right okay the alabaster parapets of Lord Ron's capital blue before us in the distance the proud defiant armies of the alliance stand resolute in their final fleeting moments all that remains is the shrill, clarion call to battle and the fulfillment of our destiny. The tides of darkness are now at hand. Okay. I'm unclear if that's supposed to be the end. Let's let's hit continue and see where it takes us. Tides of darkness, indeed. The victory pyres burn high into the twilight skies covering the ruined capital of Lordaeron. Let's watch this. We do a little retrospective. And we've made it to the end of Chronicles of the Second War. As it exists now, the Alliance campaign is a work in progress. to elevate me to the station of Warlord, thus giving me power and command of my own clan. Once the Alliance finally be crushed, all the survivors will be slain and cremated as is dictated by the rituals. Then, at long last, Azeroth and all of its lands will belong to the thunderous force known to those foolish enough to stand in its way as the Horde. Hell yeah. Utai Scratcher was the, the Warcraft 2 narrator all along. Has there ever been a canonical narrator like it was Doomhammer in uh, Warcraft 1? All right, we'll let these play because it's loud.
Hell yeah. Oh, it's... Yeah, we're still going. Okay. I don't know <laughs> how loud this is compared to me coming through on the microphone, so... Uh, I'll try and talk over it, but if you can't hear me, then oh well. This is a cool end cutscene. I love this. It's, it harkens back to Frozen Throne. Very neat. Clearly a lot of work went into this, and I enjoy it. Uh, I like the remix music as well. Overall, I, I really enjoyed this campaign. I do think some of the missions may be a bit too long, and for the reasons that they do, or they can feel a little sluggish. That's going in blind, though. I think, you know, going in and knowing what to expect, you could probably bypass a lot of that. I really liked the custom missions. The first mission, the first, or the first lost mission, I should say, was one of those where I felt like it probably should have been two missions. Um, but they were both, I mean, when I say both, the whole mission, both parts of it were really neat, even though the Alex Straza part got kind of messed up. I quite liked the Lost um, Chapter 2, where you had to destroy as much as you could before the timer ran out. That was really neat, and then that would just determine how hard the second part would be. And then the uh, the third Lost mission was really uh, enjoyable as well, with the, uh, the Amani holdout at Zulaman. That was excellent, just like, I mean, that, that was like a microcosm of the visual element of this entire campaign is just incredible. Like, the cinematics especially are things... I, like, I've never seen stuff like this before in Warcraft 3, so that was awesome. So, really great work, Lorecraft. Lorecraft team. I had a good time with this. Again, I think some of the missions, by by the end of some of the longer ones, it was more like, okay, you've got archers and, and high ground ballista, like, maybe one or two missions of that, but it felt like a lot of the macro missions were that. I understand there's this idea of having some sort of lore fidelity, like, it's a castle, it's a fortress, of course they're gonna have walls and archers on the walls, it's just, it, the impact of that though, again, it, it feels like you're coming to like a grinding halt, like you have this macro momentum, you're surviving against these attack waves, and then you make it to the outskirts of the, of the walls, and then it's like, okay, right click every individual archer, you can't A-click a melee force in to rampage through the city, because they get distracted by the stuff on the walls, stuff like that. So, if there was one major piece of feedback that I have from a critical perspective, it's just that there's like a mismatch of pacing on the missions. I feel like hard difficulty probably could afford to be a little harder, um, but then also make it so that when you go on the offensive, it's maybe there's like a bigger defensive force and it's not just fortifications, for lack of a better... It's just like walls with archers, like, like dozens of archers and ballista. Like, again, that just... It's a struggle to stay engaged, at least for me. Um, I feel like, it, from that perspective, this last mission was a little anticlimactic. I I liked the first part of it going into Dalaran, and then it was, and then it was kind of like skirt, you know, super super slow down here. Now Dalaran, to be fair, also had a bunch of high ground archers and stuff, um, but that one felt like it had a little more momentum to it. Now this is all a preference, of course. Like, if you want to make missions where it's like, make the player very slowly, meticulously grind through castle fortifications, then then do it. Like, I'm not I'm not here saying you're not allowed to do that. I'm just pointing out that this was probably how I felt in terms of like, okay, the maps, some of them are taken between 60 and 90 minutes, and a good chunk of that is just sort of chilling outside walls and, and just picking off these things that are on the walls. And that's, you know... But again, the, the major thing are, I, I really liked the, the writing, the voice acting. Um, I would say the vast majority of the voice acting was, was really well done. If anything, it was more like audio balancing, where sometimes the music was too loud compared to the voice acting, or sometimes the, the, the lines like, like uh, Zul Jin on the holdout mission, he's like making this really invigorated speech, but then they had to make it quieter because it was, you know, peaking the microphone and stuff like that. So it's like little things like that, but when you come, when it's a, a fan project and my understanding is it's not like these were paid voice actors. Um, from that perspective, it's really, really well done. I'm not saying that in a backhanded way. I'm just saying, like, there's obvious things you can point out to be like, oh, this wasn't professional voice acting. And it's like, well, yeah, of course it's not. So, like, you can't hold it to the standards of professional voice acting. But at the same time, I think it adds a lot here. There's a lot of situations where I, I've pointed out in the past where I think custom voice acting can detract if it's very bad. And in this case, it's not. It's great. So I think overall... Um, Overall, just sort of the immersiveness with the design of the maps visually, as well as the voice acted characters. You have Utek and Tarbek, which are two custom characters that fit in really, really well. Can I just say, when we get to the human campaign, whenever that releases, whoever the custom character is better be flipping cool. You got big shoes to fill, okay? Utak 
came in hot. And I just imagine the human characters would be some square loser who just, you know, he's not going to be, he's, he just can't be as cool as Utah. So we'll see when we get there, okay? Again, it's big shoes to fill. <laughs> And then, you know, some some of, like, the bank-related data stuff. This last mission, Utek and Tarbek didn't have their items. Um, and then we had an issue after the, the lost chapter where, like, it didn't load the button. And then when it when I forced it to load the button, Zulu had lost all of his items and I had to replay stuff. Like, that stuff is... From the player perspective, it's kind of a big deal. From a map maker perspective, I realize it's a pretty minor thing. And I think it's also pretty minor to fix. So I hope that, you know, me... Sh showing these things hopefully, you know, points out that these things can be isolated and fixed for any future versions. It's possible they already have been fixed and there's been a new version on Hive for the past two months. I don't know. Uh, it did take me a long time to get through this campaign, admittedly. Um, I was playing some Elden Ring. I've been playing some other stuff in my free time. Just been really busy at work. Um, but I'm feeling like I'm getting back into the groove now. I was able to, to knock out the rest of this campaign. I had a good time doing it. Um... I think maybe my favorite map might have been the Amani Holdout. Just the atmosphere of it was just, it just felt perfect. It's a really well-balanced defense mission as well, and that's hard to do. Um, I just love the, the look and feel of Zulaman just overall. Again, that's been this, that was the campaign's strongest part. Um, the strongest thing from my perspective is just sort of that look and feel. It just feels like it really nails it. And, uh, and that Zulaman mission was probably the peak of it. It was really excellent. Maybe the first half of the Lost, the first Lost mission where you're Zulu head and you're, like, creeping around underground looking for Deathwing. Um, just the look of those, uh, of those missions was awesome. Now, obviously, I struggled with the fire boss, but, like, again, there's, it, it, it really says something when I can be like, ah, oh, you know what, the boss with the way that it's terrain, like, yeah, I struggle to, like, be able to blink in and out, and, and you know, I guess if you don't have level 3 blink, F you. But, like, that aside, I can look at it and be like, oh my gosh, like, the map itself looks and feels incredible. Like, that really says something, uh, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd highly recommend, folks, if you haven't played this, pick it up. Obviously, you need to own Reforged to do it. Um, and I assume, when I say own Reforged, what I mean is you have to own the HD textures that is reforged i don't know if a lot of people know this but if you owned a version of warcraft 3 classic and you've just updated as they've released updates automatically then you technically are in the latest version of reforged you just don't have access to the reforged skins if you haven't paid for reforged i don't know if people realize this or not but um this map or this this collection of maps this campaign can only be played if you have the reforged uh texture packs you would have had to have paid or reforged in order to to play this but i think it's awesome we see like this campaign clearly took a lot of effort huge team huge huge team to work on this it's not like oh i'm one guy and i made a campaign which you know that happens most of the time it's one or two people they make a campaign and it you know turns out good turns out bad who knows in this case we had a very large team put in a ton of effort in order to make something in reforged and i think this is this is what reforged needs it needs some flagship projects this and re reforged are the two the two obvious ones in, in the public eye, and from my perspective, the two biggest uh, attractors to Reforged. Because Reforged obviously launched with a slew of problems, it still has a slew of problems. It's also more of a community perception at this point, even though the game is pretty much fine at this point, people um, are super unhappy with it. Um, it still has, don't get me wrong, a bunch of issues for a variety of reasons, but from a just a user perspective, you know, you pick up the game, pay for it, you open it, Yes, the main menu eats up a ton of processing power because it's running in a version of Chromium. I hate that, but otherwise the game just pretty much works. Um, there are some weird quirks with it, but it's projects like this that I feel like are going to get more people working in Reforged, and I think that's what we, we need in the long term. Um, this, all the stupid versioning issues... Rise of the Alliance, okay. Um, just all the stupid versioning issues playing in campaigns in Classic. I just wish we could get to a point where it's like, look, if you're making a new campaign, just make it in the latest version of Reforged. You don't have to use the Reforged texture pack. You can make it in Classic Graphics, but I would really like it just getting to a point it would be helpful for users if they could just have the latest version of the game and not have to worry about like, well, I have to download 1.28 and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, that being said, I know that Reforged is prone to crashes, but so was Classic. So was classic, okay? I play campaigns in 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, and they crash too. So, uh, looking back, I don't... Did I, did I have any crashes when I played this? Maybe one? 
I'm not sure. So it's not like it's not like it was any worse do playing this. That being said, uh, you also might need somewhat recent hardware. And when I say somewhat, I mean like probably within the last, I don't know, five to seven years, new hardware in order to play this just because Reforged is a lot more resource intensive compared to Classic. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not going to go to bat for Reforged. My point being it's just there's a user experience with having to deal with all these pa different patch levels. And I know how to deal with it but a lot of people don't and if we could just get to a point where it's like i made this campaign it's in the latest version of the game you don't have to worry about versioning just open it and play it through the game just turn on classic graphics instead of reforest you're good to go um i that would be nice that would be nice to be able to do that um i don't know you might disagree let me know in the comments uh let me know how you felt about chronicles of the second war in the comments as well i had a good time on to something new next time see you then Bye bye